This is 107.5 The Game with Jalen Tart and Jacobs Delay. We start off with the show with a little bit of college football. Lately, the Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny Football, has been in trouble lately in the start of the 2012 season. He's been arrested for a fight that happened in the offseason in 2012, and he has a remaining charges against him, and it was dismissed during the, the session this hearing session on the arrest. What do you think? Well, I mean, he's getting so much credit. He was a Heisman winner, and he's being a jerk and everything. I don't get why. I mean, he's one of the best players in the league. He's making dumb decisions. Yeah. Well, we're, off the, we're now down, doing with college. Now to the NBA. Mm. Mm. Monte Ellis has signed a structuring three-year deal with the Mavericks. This is 107.5, the game with Jalen Tart and Jinx Dwight. Here's our sports update. We go now to college football with Johnny Manziel being arrested in the offseason of 2012. And how does this affect him going into the 2013 season? What's your thoughts for Jinx? Uh, not, it kind of affects him a lot. I mean, like, He's been a jerk, and he doesn't need to. He's one of the best players in the game, and he's just making dumb decisions. I think it will affect it a good bit going into the 2013 season. Okay, and now to the NBA with the Monte with Monte Ellis going to the Mavericks, sign a three-year deal contract worth more than 25 million dollars. How do you? How does this affect Dallas? It's gonna help. Know. It's going to help Dallas a lot. Him and Dirk Nowitzki will play well together. But the thing is going to fit, they drafted Shane Larkin, another good guard, and he broke his ankle in summer league practice. And they just need another guard on that team, but Monte Ellis is going to help a lot. Well, He's this, a great player. Well, this will it will put them in actual playoff contention next year with – Dirk you know, was not it, it was not eligibility going to the playoffs last year, so it will give him a boost on the chance for them to make it to the playoffs or get into the championship content. Now we go to the NFL. Well, well, now we go to college football. Who do you think will go to the BCS national championship this year? Uh, I've got to go with Alabama again. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not sure if they'll win it this year, but I'm pretty positive that they're most likely to go. And I think Ohio State has a legitimate chance also. You could throw Georgia as a pretty solid chance too, but I think uh, – I honestly think Ohio State gets it done this year. Like an like a actual true underdog, it would be South – like South Carolina does have a good chance of making it to one of the top bowls, bowl game this year. Because with the help of Connor Shaw, the good quarterback in his senior year, and Dylan Thompson, the backup, and a good starter, G. Davion Clowney, the known one as the greatest football player in college history. And it's going to be a great season. So now we go to baseball with the Home Run Derby. So how do you think um, the player that I can't pronounce has 17 Home run hits, 17 in the first round. How do you think about that? I mean, it was shocking. No one expected him to win. A lot of people would expect, like, Prince Fielder to win and other people, but not him. Yeah, I, I was picking Gr Chris Davis to win the whole thing, but he put on a show, but it wasn't enough to cap off the whole event. But the guy I can't pronounce is – is a phenomenal like he substituted the guy that got injured and he's not an all-star which is phenomenal so give props to him and he was the first like right-handed hitter in four years to win yes it too. we're gonna take some calls now with this guy go That's a good question. The best right receiver uh, in college football, what do you think? I think this is a player who struggled. He got suspended last year. Sammy Watkins down in mm -hmm. Clemson. 
great senior. He had a great freshman year. Great underdog, too. He's yeah, one of the best. I wouldn't say, and we're going I wouldn't say the best, but uh, he should have a solid year. But yeah. And we're going to wrap it up. This is 107.5 The Game with Jenkins and Jalen.